Kunming is a small island just two kilometers off the coast of China but governed by Taiwan and there is so much I want to show you on this little island but I also want to keep my videos under five minutes so I'm going to break this up into two parts. This will be part one of We View Kunming. Now with a land size of only 150 square kilometers this little island is rich with history dating back as far as the 16th century. In more recent years, the island has been a military reserve and it was only around 1995 that it was returned to civil government. The easiest way to get to Kinmen is from Taiwan's Songshan Airport. We went there on a three-day, two-night excursion and booking a flight is really easy. Mandarin Airlines has four flights a day and you can book by calling them directly. A quick side note, something that wasn't properly announced to us on the plane. It is against the law to take pictures or videos on that flight. And by against the law, I mean you can get a hefty fine or even a jail sentence. Once you get to Kinmen, you can hire a car or a scooter right at the airport. A scooter is going to cost you around 400 NT a day and a car around 1,400, depending on what you choose. Kinman was surprisingly cold in March on a scooter and we ended up buying jackets there so do take something warm just in case. This little island has an abundance of history including traditional old houses that have been restored to their original appearance dating back several centuries. If you travel southwest on the island you will find Chusan village. Houses here have been turned into really cool B&Bs. Check out the videos I did on Piano Piano B&B and in the same village, the principal's home B&B. Around the same area as Tusan is the old Bing Street and Northern Gate. Very much still intact bomb shelters right at the entrance of the street is a sobering reminder of recent unrest in Kinmen. In this street you will also find some B&Bs or homestay type places, similar to what you saw in Zhusan. If you're looking for something slightly less remote, you can also check out the video I did on Haifu Hotel, conveniently located in the main city area with the 7-Eleven just across the street. Kimin is very famous for its Gaoliang manufacturing with a huge factory that you can visit. It's also very famous for its recent military occupation with amazing underground tunnels all over the place. I love these tunnels, so I did two clips on two different tunnels that you can see on my blog page. In addition to the tunnels, I also did clips on the ceramic museum and factory, which was a highlight for me. The Delia House and Tower and Maestro Wu's Knife Factory. All of those you can find on my blog page under We View Kin Min. Another highlight was the Jiangong Tidal Island. This little piece of land is only accessible during low tide. There is a slippery stone path that you can take to Jiangong only when the tide is out. I was kind of freaking out thinking that the water would come back up and we won't be able to get back. But in reality, the tide comes in very slow, so you should be perfectly dry getting back. I went back the next day to take a quick clip while the tide was coming in. And although the weather was a bit foggy, you can clearly see that the path is very much underwater and the island completely surrounded by water. I think I'm just about reaching my time limit for part one, so I'll stop it here and continue with part two of We View Kinmen.